everybody welcome to a pretty nice April morning here I'm out in the field um, for both of you that have been following my research we've been looking at these thin black shell units and particularly the pyrite that seems to make these diagenetic fronts underneath these black shell units and we've been looking at this at the very top of the Hanover unit at the base of the Dunkirk shale but I wanted to start looking for these similar thin black shale units that are outside of that particular zone to see if we can see sort of the same things happening. So now we're actually in the lower part of the Hanover. We're at a really interesting spot. You can actually only get here by boat because you can see the cliffs behind me here. It's like this for miles in either direction. So we got to get out here on boat in order to do this and the weather worked out today. So here we are in the base of the Hanover Shale. The Pipe Creek's actually just in the water over there. But you can see these interbedded black and gray shales through here. And they have a tremendous amount of pyrite associated with these black shales. So that's what we're going to take a look at here on this quick field trip. So this spot is a nice overview of the stratigraphy. This gray shale right here. This is the Angola Shale. This section of black shale right here is the Pipe Creek Shale. And you can see these bands of pyrite intervals in there fill focus and then up above here this is the contact this is the base of the Hanover and these are these thin black shales that, that I've been looking at you can see all of this rough terrain here on the shale this is all pyrite so this is all largely diagenetic pyrite in here um, in the form of concretionary nodule pyrite these things here are worm burrow tubes that have been filled with pyrite but it's not without some of its redeeming and fascinating pyrite as well. So that's a goniotite that's almost completely pyritized, also has some barite in it. And I just spotted another one, and I marked it with my hammer. But there's another one right there. Now what's interesting about this pyritic layer here, which kind of runs counter to what we've been saying all along, if you look, you don't see a thin black shale up above it here and for most part what we generally see is these pyrite beds form below these black shales so one question is is the model wrong um, and something else is going on which is entirely possible um, but the other thing that could be happening is we're in a very very condensed section here so we're like one of the most distal locations where you can actually still access this section in New York State and if you look here here's the pyrite layer down here and you see these thin thin wisps of black shale here that go away in that direction and when you come back over here they go away in that direction again there it's also entirely possible then that there was a black shale that was overlying this section here and it's been chopped out potentially due to erosion it could be oxidized away due to burn down but we do have evidence of a bioturbated black shale right here and then the pyrite layer down below it and then we have a nice thick black shale right down here and we see pyrite that's down below it as well there so i do think the model still holds here um, but it is interesting that we're starting to see some more dynamic things happening but what else is interesting to note is if you look at the base of the pipe creek Again, this is the very top of the Angola, and we can see all of these pyrotized worm burrows and things like that in here. And we can see that as we move down section, they become smaller and smaller and less abundant as we move down through there. So I would suggest that we may see, be seeing evidence of a sulfide front moving out of the base of the Pipe Creek and down into the Angola Shale there as well, just like what we're seeing in those thin black shales that are at the um, upper part of the Hanover at the base of the Dunkirk and like what we've been seeing manifest with these thin black shales here. Okay so that's a summary of that trip. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of information on the Upper Devonian there in western New York and thanks for watching this short little video. I thought I'd make some of these more like little quick trip things and put out there and I'll end it here on this picture of this uh, prep goniotite that I found out there. So again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.